All right, here's, a, here's another story I wanted to cover today. It's a, it's a little complicated um, because, uh, because it's, it's, a, it's a very mixed story. But I don't know if you saw the video of this Columbia University student, uh, physics student, who was uh, taped uh, and the video went viral, uh, you know, yelling and screaming these uh, white uh, supremacist rants about uh, how, you know, and, and they are white supremacists. He, he, he talked about how proud he was of being white and whites had changed the world and, uh, you know, uh, whites created civilization and he was, you know, and, and nobody else had. And uh, we invented, we, we, white people invented the modern world. And, um, um, right, uh, you know, we, again, white people, invented science and industry, and you went to tell us to stop because, oh, my God, we're so bad. And he goes on and on and on, I mean, on and on for a couple of minutes in the, in the video. I'm not sure how long the video is exactly. With this rant, and he's jumping up and down, and he's obviously very excited and so on. And it's really, I mean, I have to say, it's horrible. And it's, it's uh, inexcusable, and it's wrong, and it's offensive, and all of that. But what's omitted from the video is the context, is the context. And the context is, is just as vile, right? And the context is, at least according to him, right? So he has come out with a public statement, but, which is interesting. Because nobody else is carrying this. I, I've tried to look for it. I found it in a couple of news sources. One, it disappeared. It was listed, but then I can't find it. His name is Von Abel, and he's supposed to be a real a brilliant, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, a physics student. And he says that he, was being, he had been approached by a group of, of students who were harassing him about white privilege, were harassing him, was saying something that he couldn't, uh, he says, a large group of students gathered around me and told me that I had no right to share my views on women as I'm a white male with white privilege. Now I consider the whole idea of white privilege racist and offensive and disgusting. And the whole idea that a male can't comment on women, and that if you're white you can't comment on somebody who's not white, and that Everybody is categorized based on these intersectionality categories. I find offensive and disgusting and, you know, uh, now this, the reaction to that should never be racism, <laughs> right? The reaction to racism should never be racism. He, he writes that, um, he writes, I'm not a white supremacist or racist, although he comes across as one, nor do I subscribe to any views that support that ideology. I unequivocally denounce all groups that support racism. Good. And he says, my reaction that evening grew out of my distaste for the overuse of the term white privilege and similar divisive rhetoric as a means of dismissing views of others. Now, you know, I, I think the fact that it's divisive is, 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 is the least of our problems. Um, but... I get that he was angry. I get that he was pissed off. I am too, and I'm, I'm, I'm uh, told that all my views are a consequence of my white privilege all the time. And it's offensive, and it's disgusting, and it wants me to get really, really mad and yell at people. And it's okay to get really, really mad and yell at people. As long as you don't yell back at them equally disgusting things. You, my boy, did not create Western civilization. You, my boy, have nothing to do with science and technology and everything that has to do with civilization. You didn't do it. You didn't build the modern world. People who maybe look a little bit like you did, who cares? You didn't. Don't take credit for something you didn't do. You didn't invent the modern world. You didn't build modern civilization. The fact that somebody else had the same color skin as you did is irrelevant to anything. So yes, get angry about the term white privilege. Yes, get furious when you're told that you should not be able to comment on issues because of the color of your skin or because of your gender. 
Yes, you should get angry. Yes, you should be pissed off. Yes, you should argue against that point of view. But to argue against that point of view from the perspective of racist racism, from the perspective of collectivism and tribalism, makes you as bad as them. Makes you as bad as them. Now, I think the fact, I think the fact that the media is so selective in terms of what they published, and they haven't published the whole story, and that they don't publish the occurrences of racism from the other side, that they're not offended by the idea of white privilege and, 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 and the, 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 the constant, the constant, if you, if, you, if, you, if you go on campuses and you go online, and the constant barrage of attacks that are, that, that are done in the name of, of, of white privilege and you can't discuss issues because of who you are and the color of your skin. The fact that the media and others don't recognize that as racism is a real problem. But again, you do not become a racist in order to combat it. This is, this is the problem with the alt-right. The alt-right supposedly is offended by identity politics. And their solution to identity politics is to embrace identity politics. That's disgusting. It's irrational. It doesn't make any sense. The color of your skin is an accidental, insignificant feature of who you are. And you, by being white, do not share anything in achievements of other people who happen to be white, whether they're born with you right now or born in previous generations. Even if they were your ancestor, you don't share in their achievements. Even if you have a direct genetic link to them, you don't share in their achievements.